So in this video, I'm gonna let you know what the ECT sensor is and how it can cause for your car to overheat and what I did to fix my overheating car issue. So I noticed that my fans would not turn on and my car would begin to overheat when I was at a red light or when I was stuck in traffic. I began to suspect that one of the culprits could be the ECT sensor. Now, what is the ECT sensor and how can it cause your car to overheat? This is the engine coolant temperature sensor. And this sensor measures the coolant temperature in the engine. The sensor lets us know when the car engine is hot and sends the signal to the cooling fans to turn on to cool the engine. What happens when it's not working correctly? Well, the ECT sensor cannot read the correct coolant temperature. That means that the temperature gauge may read cold when the engine is actually hot. When that happens, the radiator fans stay off and the engine begins to overheat. The ECT sensor should alert the fans to turn on when they're needed to cool the engine. But because of a faulty ECT, the signal is not reaching the fans to turn on. You can have your ECT checked, but since the ECT sensor is so cheap to buy, around $20 in my case, I decided just to get a new one and replace it. This may or may not solve the overheating problem sometimes. In my case, I decided to switch out multiple parts just to be sure. After all, my car is 16 years old, so some of these parts were probably getting ready to give out anyway. Aside from the ECT sensor, I decided to switch out the fan relay, which I considered at first was probably the issue, thermostat, and the cooling fans. After replacing those four parts, I no longer had an issue with my cooling fans not turning on, and my overheating problem was solved. So next time your car is overheating, well, you may want to consider checking your ECT sensor as well. Sometimes mainly people focus on the cooling fans, the radiator, the thermostat, but the ECT sensor is normally overlooked, in my opinion. That's what I've noticed. And so anyways, that's all I have for you all today. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button to help out the channel. Thank you all for your time. And remember, live free and try DIYing.